we've changed uh, fuel filters a couple times, blew out a couple lines, did a few other things, changed some O-rings, changed some gaskets to make sure the air wasn't getting in, and it's still sputtering out to see if it stays running. Usually it runs for about 30 seconds and then kills. We'll see if this does the trick. We went back to Case IH filters instead of the Napa one. We said a prayer to St. Isidore, the patron saint of farming, and uh, to look out for us here and give us a give us a little hand. I've got it running at half throttle. Uh, earlier it wouldn't even run at uh, when it was idling. It sputter on after 30 seconds. It's probably been running for two minutes. And then when you go to full throttle, it would just kill itself pretty much within 10 seconds. We'll see what it does here. Um, literally, this is the little strip we have left just over the hill. We'll move to the next field goal. Come on, baby Jesus. I hope it can stay running here. Up. I'm gonna take a half swath to see if it'll you know, not bog down, but even when you don't have any beans coming in the machine, it acts like it's going. There it goes. Well, not as bad that time. It'll either kill the machine or go just about to kill it, and then it'll. Uh, come back sometimes and other times at home, but man, I don't know what's going on. We have tried so much stuff with the bleeding lines and clean lines out. See that? That's what it was doing to me yesterday. We've bled all lines, we've put filters, we've put new gas in the new O-rings, we've primed it, we've bled out the air, we've done everything and it just won't. Boy, we got some stuff to work out. No bueno. trying it and it's uh we tried something else it's still doing it this is really frustrating i don't know what the what the fix is going to be but uh, i think some soybean dust got in the diesel fuel is what i think we figured out so i don't know what the deal is here we got to figure out what we're going to do i am down in cass in minnesota getting the electric fuel pump here. I don't know that that'll do the trick. I have my doubts, but uh, it's worth a shot. Uh, about a 50 minute drive or just close to an hour, depending on traffic. Um, now I'm driving back, we're gonna throw it on, see if it does the trick. I think there's still gonna be more we're gonna have to do to the, to the pump or to the fuel itself. I think the fuel's messed up on the inside from a bunch of dust that got in there. 
So wish us luck and I'll keep you posted. So we've tried everything, we had a mechanic out. It's more than just the uh, it's more than just the, the lines. The engine's gonna have to get looked at and a few other things. Hold on a sec. The engine's gonna have to get looked at, so we folded the hopper down and we're gonna set the head in the field. Not setting it on the cart, just a nice level spot and we're gonna pull the combine in the shop. It's gonna rain tomorrow. We're going to uh, get the combine looked at tomorrow in the shop, maybe drain the fuel tank completely. Go up. Just, okay, go back. Good. Yeah, you're all good. Ready? Ready? Drain the diesel. There you go. Here it comes. Oh, we got her going. I can feel it. I'll get it. That's good. That's catching yeah, it. It's catching most of it. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. I've been up for like 39 hours. The other day I did it too. It wasn't so bad. It just, uh, would have been a perfect beaning night that's what sucks but uh it wouldn't have been so bad but um the majority of today was spent uh wrenching on the combine climbing around it doing stuff so a little worn out so time for bed we'll go see if we can check on them how they're uh, working on the combine tomorrow a couple mechanics coming out <laughs>